Imagine a global conflict involving Bronze Age mariners and feudal warriors over 3,000 years ago. Researchers have named it World War Zero. A historical mystery surrounds the fates of eight major Mediterranean civilizations. All cultures suddenly collapsed 3,200 years ago due to war, famine and domestic strife. Geoarchaeologist Eberhard Sanger theorises that World War Zero accelerated the demise of these advanced kingdoms. Late last century, archaeological digs started finding evidence that many sophisticated feudal societies flourished in the lands around the eastern Mediterranean between 1700 and 1200 BC, the Late Bronze Age. The interior of Anatolia, a Mediterranean peninsula which is now part of modern Turkey, was ruled by the centrally organised Hittite state. Its great king, residing in Hattusa, near the Kazalomak River. In Egypt, the pharaohs of the New Kingdom started construction of the famous temples, like those at Luxor and Karnak. In Greece, small yet rich and powerful kingdoms made up the Mycenaean civilization, while Syria and Palestine included numerous states ruled by aristocrats and minor chieftains. Sometimes these various diverse states were allied to each other, and at other times they battled. In most, the political system was composed of a palace administration bolstered by the new development of writing, and the autocratic rulers controlled professional armies and oversaw economic exploitation both at home and abroad. Most had well-developed social hierarchies, wherein highly skilled professions manufactured goods of high quality. This brought widespread international trade opportunities throughout the Eastern Mediterranean. However, recent excavations in that region have also found evidence of the sudden, violent destruction of these previously thriving civilizations. According to Zanger, in 1177 BC, unidentified marauding armies, known only as the Sea Peoples, attacked Egypt. The pharaoh's army and navy successfully defeated them, but the victory so weakened Egypt that it soon lapsed into decline, as did most of the civilizations in the region. After centuries of dazzling achievement, the highly cultured world of the Bronze Age came to an abrupt and cataclysmic close. Kingdoms sank into oblivion over just a few years, with the mighty and influential Hittite state in central Anatolia extinguished most dramatically of all. The Luwian-speaking Sea Peoples attacked the control centres of the aristocratic rulers, targeting government buildings, palaces and temples, while leaving people's homes and the countryside mainly unharmed. The tactic foreshadowed the strategy of modern warfare and is amongst the earliest known examples of it. After witnessing the fall of both the Hittites and the Egyptian pharaohs, the Mycenaean Greeks launched decisive attacks on the Luwian's port cities. However, the Greek forces' homecoming was disastrous. The deputies they had left in charge refused to abdicate and the ensuing civil war ushered in the Greek Dark Ages. Right across the region, unidentified attackers destroyed and burned international trade centres and port cities. After the devastation, most of the razed cities were either abandoned or rebuilt on only a minor scale. Right across the eastern Mediterranean, advanced and noble societies became settlements of herdsmen and shepherds. When the warring was over, the flourishing economy and cultures of the late second millennium BC, which had extended from Greece to Egypt and Mesopotamia, suddenly ceased to exist, as well as their writing systems, technology and monumental architecture. Even entire languages had disappeared. According to Zanger's hypothesis, World War Zero caused the disintegration of Egypt as well as destroying the civilizations of the Hittites, Minoans, Canaanites, Cypriots, Assyrians, Mycenaeans and Babylonians. While their common enemy was thought to be the mysterious roaming fleet called the Sea People, modern scholars, from archaeologists to historians, 
still do not know exactly who the Sea People were, from where they came, why they invaded, and finally, where they went after their marauding. It is unknown whether the Sea People were warriors, pirates, mercenaries, or even refugees, but perhaps some kind of an alliance amongst groups in Western Asia Minor who spoke dialects of the Luwian language. One theory is that the Sea People Alliance was led by the Trojans, who wished to subdue Greece and certainly had a homeland to return to and defend. It is also uncertain whether the Sea People's invasion was a cause or an effect of the political collapses, while there were various other factors bringing the rapid decline of the Bronze Age, which included drought and earthquakes. Despite the success of the attacks, many scholars aren't convinced that the Luwians were skillful invaders. While they seemed to come out of nowhere and lacked any obvious motive, some believe that another unknown factor caused the eight cultures to collapse within the same period. However, Zanger holds that historical documents back up his theory that the Luwians were probably the unknown and aggressive sea peoples mentioned in Egyptian writings. He has even identified sites in Turkey that were possibly established by Luwians, some of them so massive that they are visible from space. Many argue that World War Zero was not the only factor in the collapse of late Bronze Age nations. Archaeologist Eric Klein suggests that a perfect storm of events, which included the Sea People's invasions, as well as internal revolt, earthquakes, drought, and the cutting of international trade routes, brought about the demise of this vibrant era. It was the very interdependence of those flourishing empires of the late Bronze Age which hastened their dramatic decline and introduced a dark age that lasted centuries and that also set the stage for the rise of classical Greece.